Hey folks, welcome back to another day. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Dee and I make lifestyle content that chronicles my everyday life as boring as it may be. And I'm also trying to get back to doing black and brown owned business reviews. So if that's something that you like, make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that you're notified every single time I upload a video. I am currently in my office, hence the echoiness. Hopefully, once I do the makeover in this space and start adding some things for sound to bounce off of, it won't sound so echoey. But I just wanted to, oh, hold on, the booze calling. Okay, so <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I wanted to come on here. I wanted to just kind of check in with you guys, see how you're doing, um, especially with all of the issues that are going on globally. <laughs> Right? There's like several genocides that are happening. We've got Palestine and Israel situation. We've got the Congo situation, Sudan situation, the Tigray people in Ethiopia situation. Um, there are a couple other African countries. And then I think there might even be some stuff going on in South America. So like, there's a ton of stuff going on everywhere at any given point in time. And I know that it can be really difficult to just live everyday life like it's normal knowing that there's all this stuff happening. But I think it's it's like we've been conditioned to think, oh, because it's not affecting us in some way, we don't really need to pay attention to it when really we do need to pay attention to it because if you're someone who is in the States and you pay taxes, your money is being funded for a lot of these genocides, unfortunately. And it's a really, really tough uh, situation. But yeah, how are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments. I genuinely care. Um, I'm a praying person, so if, if you're okay with me praying for you, I'll pray for you, you know, send you good vibes, whatever the case may be, just let me know in the comments and we can kind of confide in each other, right? Because this is a community here and we can confide in each other in the comments. You guys can confide in each other in the comments, like, you know, all that, all those things. Also, in that same vein, I've been looking at places here, like in Joburg, of just looking for like events, protests, you know, things that just people creating coalitions and groups and events, protests, whatever, and solidarity for all these people that are experiencing um, these horrific events, right? So if you guys are in the Joburg area, let me know if there's anything coming up. I've been kind of doing my research, seeing if I can find anything, but I haven't really found much of anything, but I know that the protests and stuff have been going on and I want to get involved because the least that I can do is share these videos for the Congolese people, share, you know, the information that I've learned and put it on my platforms, you know, for the people of Palestine and the Ethiopian and Sudanese, Sudanese people, you know what I mean? So just trying to do my part in raising awareness in addition to educating myself, right? Because I can sit here and read all day, but we're at a point in life and just in society where we need, we need more action. And whether you're a huge content creator or a celebrity or a world leader or a regular regular Jane Doe like me, you know, we can all do something to, to help these people. So yeah, you guys let me know if you're in the Joburg area, if there are any kind of protests or events that are being held in solidarity for these people going on so I can hopefully participate. So what else is going on? So we're stressed to the max, if you can't tell. I was watching a video, the video that I put out, I guess two years ago now, when I was looking for my wedding dress. Y'all was looking at myself, I was like, ooh, I'm looking just so light in the face. No dark circles, really, unless there was like a filter on my camera at the time. All the, you know, my skin's looking smooth, all those good things. And then I look at myself and I'm like, dark circles. I be breaking out sometimes. I feel like my skin looks really dull because I don't have my skincare here. And there's just, we are super, 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 super stressed. Really, really stressed. <sighs> and it's like we're stressed out with things here we're stressed out with things in the states like they're stressed out about the things that are going on globally like there's just so much stuff going on and it's overwhelming like it's incredibly overwhelming and like you know my boo and I are trying to you know be each other's rock and like that's the thing that I love about him the most is that we can truly depend on each other like these this these are times like when you lean on each other when it really puts your relationship to the test and it really shows just how strong you are, just how much you love each other, just how much you care about each other. And it's like, even though he and I both have to-do lists that are just growing and growing and growing, we still will be like, is there anything that I can help you with? Is there anything I can help you with? We're both overwhelmed AF, but we still 
are there for each other because we're like, okay, if I can even take a smidgen of the burden off of you, sorry, I'm just like writing some stuff down. If I can take a little bit of the burden off of you, then I'm totally going to try my best to do that for you. So I just love that boo so much. Um, he's not here right now. He's actually at the appliance store because stresses of life, right? We bought, we purchased a, an old-ish home, right? There's lots of issues that we are taking care of and there's lots of stuff going on around it that I can't necessarily talk about. But one of the things that we have to do eventually is replace everything. And when I say everything, I mean even like the wood framing for the doors and the windows. And there's a lot of doors and a lot of windows in this place. Everything, of course, is a slow process. It's, it is, hold on, he's calling again. My boo is so funny. So we got a lot of our appliances from this place called Hershey's. And our, we have a, a sales associate that we work with all the time, like anytime. Her name is Bianca. Shout out to Bianca, because I know she watches my videos. And so they just video chatted me. And so I bought an ice maker and a bread maker. You would have seen them in, in vlogs, especially when I was making the yogurt cake. But I got those from Hershey's. A refrigerator, washer dryer, dishwasher, our TVs, like sound system stuff. Uh, what's it called? Style, like all, all of our like big appliances are from there. We got really, really good deals. So if you ever in Hershey's and Waterfall and Midrand, Joburg, whatever, go to Bianca because she will hook you up, okay? And they price match too. Like there are some things that she has found for us that were cheaper in other places and because they price match, we've been able to save money. But anyways, they just um, video chatted me because I bought the ice maker and the bread maker from Hyde Park, which is only like, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes away from, from the waterfall location. And he was like, oh yeah, you know, Bianca looked up the account and saw that she's like, oh yeah, you guys cheated on me. Because <laughs> I went there for the ice maker, the bread maker. But anyway, so I have an associate there and I have an associate at my brand. So the reason why he's there is because, like I was kind of saying before, stresses of being in an older home, you have to replace everything, including the appliances. So we need, we need to replace the hob, the electric hob, the stove, because sometimes load shedding will just kind of fry it that's not good because if i want to be able to use it after load shedding is over i can't i can't turn it on and these things haven't been serviced haven't been replaced probably since the house was built so we're dealing with appliances that are extremely extremely old <laughs> i'll tell you why i'm laughing in a second um we'll have to have somebody come in what's it called Re, uh, rewire it because it's wired because everything here is like wired it's not just like plugged into something it's wired which makes things very difficult because he and I are not electricians so the reason why I'm laughing because it's related to this so he needed me to go downstairs pop it up and um, move the oven out the way so I could see what kind of plug situation we got going on so that's how I know it was wired and not just plugged into like a little socket that was plugged into somewhere else so I'm like fiddling around in there mind you power's not off Okay, power's not off. So I'm like putzing around trying to like move the wires around a little bit, like not necessarily touch them, touch them, but like move them around a little bit so that I can see what color wires are there to see if it's something that we can actually wire up ourselves. Tell me why all of a sudden, I guess I touched a live wire y'all and it shook the hell out of me. It was like, I could, I could hear like, like that, I could hear like some do -do 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 -do, like that, and my body was just like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> and I was just like, and I realized what had just happened. Like there was no pain, but it was just like someone shook me. <laughs> oh my God. And I realized that I just got shot. I just got electrocuted. So. I obviously let go after I realized what happened and I literally had my finger on there for maybe like five seconds, maybe. So like I'm not in any pain or anything like that. But I was just like a little bit shaken up just because I realized what just happened. We can migrate out here because Kratos is on the balcony and I want to kind of watch him. Although he's perfectly fine. He is literally like a sunbathing baby. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, it had shocked the hell out of me. Like, like physically and like mentally, I guess you can say. So I'm okay. I'm, I'm totally fine, obviously. I'm still recording and, and <laughs> doing some stuff. But y'all, it was the funniest thing I've ever experienced in my life, but also kind of terrifying in a way. 
even though it was only for a couple of seconds. This week is a short week because it's a holiday for the US. So I have two days off from work, so I've got a longer weekend. I am getting a sewing machine, which is really great. It's my um, boo's birthday gift to me. So we can kind of unbox that together when we get that. We'll be getting that in a couple of days. <laughs> Girl, I realize all I need is you. I can never get enough. Say she on way down. Yeah. Always down to have a good time. What you gonna say now? Huh? When they see us running this down. Is it how you move? How you smile, how you captivate everything, how the body move, pretty eyes, got it all, you killing the scene. I want you to be mine, girl, you got everything I need, and I want you, what you wanna do? Let me give you the moon, yeah, shine brighter than the stars combined. Been a while since I saw you Only well wishes for you Try my best to ignore you Baby, you one of a kind Heard you got a man, hope he spoils you Cause you deserve someone loyal Someone who can adore you Yeah I know when you feel good Know when you sad What get you mad Things you done been through Hey folks, so We are back and I wanted to unbox My new toy, my sewing machine Oh, let me first Let me show you guys outfit that I wore today. So you would have seen in a previous haul, sorry my head's cut off, I don't feel like fixing the angle, but um, this crop top from H&M, I got this in black and a sage green color, and then this feather skirt, I don't even know if you consider it midi length, um, that I've had for a while, I think I got this from the thrift store truthfully, and it's got like a, like a curved, it's like, it goes like that. That makes sense. But anyways, I feel really cute and it's a perfect outfit for today because it's scorching hot and we're in load shedding right now. I think it's gonna be over in about 10, 15 minutes. Oh, let me pick this up. Oh, so I can unbox this with you guys. This is the machine. It's from Brother and this is the model number FS60X and it's got 60 stitches. It had a lot more stitches than some of the other cheaper and more expensive sewing machines at Metro. Um, I got this from Metro Home. I'm going to get some scissors. So I may have told you guys that this is my birthday present from my boo because he's just kind enough to get it for me. And it was really sweet because I wasn't expecting it. I was literally in expecting to pay for this myself. So I'm really, really, really thankful that um, he decided to get this for me. And like he does so much for us and stuff and I'm, I'm, I'm just forever thankful for him just because of who he is, his heart, everything else. But this just shows how loving he is and I appreciate him for it. So we've got all our cords, of course, power cords, probably a cord for the foot pedal. I don't know what this is. I think this might be a dust bag. That's fancy. Ooh, all the fun bits. So for all my sewers, tailors, what's it called, seamstresses, you've got all the little accoutrements that come with a sewing machine. So we've got some needles in here, but at some point I'm going to get extra needles because it's always good to have, it's always good to have extra needles. Um, if you're someone that sews, you know what I mean. We've got the button. I don't know if this is called a button foot, but this is for buttons when you want to sew them on. 
bobbins, different feet, including just the regular foot. There might be a zipper foot in there too, I'm not sure. All the good things, these are the important stuff. So again, this is the Brother F60, FS60X. It's got 60 stitches. It's really good for denim, apparently. The next thing that I have to get, like I can't just set up in the workroom, craft room, whatever you wanna call it, start sewing because I need a table, I need thread, I need extra needles, I need all sorts of different things. So over the course of the next couple of months, depending on the budget, because it has to fit within the budget, y'all already know, I will get that stuff and then I'll be able to actually start on some of my projects. But yeah, I'm going to finish taking the tape off of this, unwrapping all of the plugs and everything and putting them in the workroom. Ooh, see? I've already put the fabric that I'm going to be using for to make um, the head wraps in here. But this closet is basically what I'm gonna be using to store all of my sewing stuff. So, look at this little dust bag thing. And I can put all the little, I put all the little um, booklets and reference guides and things in it. This will help keep it protected from getting all crazy dusty and stuff. Oh, I had a singer and I didn't even have a little dust bag for it. So yeah, I'll just keep it there. That way I don't have to bend all the way down there. So maybe I'll just put like extra crap down there. Of course, TikTok is always an inspiration for my dinner and different things that I wanna try out. And so there's this, I'm looking it up now. There's this, and I also have to catch up on my <laughs> genocide news because that's all I go on TikTok for these days. But it's this like spring roll salad meal thing that I saw on here. And let me see if I can find it really quickly. Look at how good that looks. That's what I'm going to attempt to make. So I bought a little thing of like cabbage, I like literally this big, each little thing of cabbage is this big. There's green cabbage, red cabbage. I bought some sugar snap peas, green onion. I already have jalapenos. Oh, I hope I have jalapenos because it'd be great if it's spicy. I'll make the, I have everything to make the peanut sauce, which she said was ginger, soy sauce, peanut butter, of course, um, garlic. And then she had like mint, and some other herbs, but I don't think I have those herbs. Okay, folks, so we're in the kitchen. I have just been prepping away. I knew that when I was going to start making this, I'm really thirsty. The thing that was going to take the longest amount of time was the prepping of the vegetables because the only thing that's cooked is the shrimp and the noodles. And I'm actually about to cook them right now. I just want some gels. Oh, this? brand this one and we have another one mango and orange roots you gotta get roots this juice is so good so i just made the peanut sauce like the dressing and i kind of improvised i kind of improvised well in a way like i didn't i didn't follow a recipe or anything because it's like it's like a noodle salad, basically, right? So not much is cooked. There isn't much of a recipe. It's really just kind of like whatever the heck you want to put in it, put in it. But I did want to try to make a peanut sauce because I'm not a huge fan of peanut butter, but I do like peanut sauces. And since this is like a deconstructed spring roll type salad, you got to have a, a, a peanut sauce. This is really good. And here's the setup for the things that we'll kind of add to it. So we've got sesame seeds, white sesame seeds, some sesame oil in case we just want to put some on there. My boo asked for some chickpeas, so I just took these out, drained them, and rinsed them a little bit. He didn't say that he wanted me to do anything specific with them, so I didn't. Uh, jalapeno, this is all I had left, so I used it. Some cabbage, some red cabbage, because that's what she used. Some sugar snap peas, cilantro, green onion, carrots, the like whites of the onion, because I'm going to saute them. I do still have a little bit of garlic, so I might saute that with the onions and maybe a little bit of carrots just to kind of zhuzh some things up. So I got some bowls for us to use. So hopefully this tastes good. Everything tastes good individually. You know how sometimes when you're experimenting with recipes and you're like, I really hope 
It's like all the elements taste good by themselves, but I hope that they taste good together. Like I really like the sauce, even though I'm not a fan of peanut butter, but it could taste like absolute shit. <laughs> I hope it doesn't, but it could. Um, so yeah, I told him that dinner is done, told him to come to the kitchen so I could kind of explain things to him so he can put stuff together however he wants to put them together and then we can go from there. We're here, we're here. Look who it is, it's, it's a favorite, it's a favorite. <laughs> so we're headed to dinner. I don't know how to say the restaurant name, but you'll see a couple of your favorites. Oh, is mine Perry Perry? Here we go. Perry, Perry, Perry. 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 